Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name is David Gafford, and today we're going to take an in-depth look to see if a wood grill scraper does a good job of cleaning your grill. So we've got it all coming up. There are so many different ways to clean your grill right now. I mean, we have the traditional wire brushes that have been around for decades, and they've come under fire as of late because of the wire bristles falling off the brush with the ability to sometimes maybe even get stuck in food that you serve. While no one wants to eat a metal bristle, the whole question is how else can you clean your grill? There are now bristle-free grill brushes that are around that actually don't have the bristles that can fall off. They're actually spun into a wire mesh that makes it so that they can't fall off during cooking. There's also some Kevlar brushes that use steam to clean. I've also seen nylon grill brushes and chainmail grill brushes. Now, the odds of something falling off a chainmail grill brush is pretty slim, but if it's gonna fall off, you're gonna see an actual chain link. Those are pretty easy to spot and a lot harder to chew and not notice. Now, prices on these cleaning tools can range from $10 all the way up to $60 or more, and it's hard to know what to invest your hard-earned money into when you're wanting to clean your grill. Today we're going to run a test on this wood style scraper and we're going to see if for the $15 to $20 range if it can actually get our grill clean. Now it's not an overly complicated design. You can see that it's tapered here on this end to be able to give you a small narrow end to begin to be able to work your grooves from your grill grates into the wood. So you're setting a custom pattern for this paddle to be able to clean your grill. Now on this end you also have it so it's contoured to the hand, gives you a nice little handle to get some leverage, and this one has a nice little bottle opener on the top. But the secret to success with wood grill scrapers is that there is no template or pattern on this when it comes straight from the store. You have to create your own pattern or your own grooves from your grill grates to be able to make sure this matches your grate so it cleans really well. Now there's no better way to show you than to actually do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up the grill here and we're gonna get it ripping hot. We're gonna get it up to the 700 degree mark, 600 degree mark if we can. And we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna start putting grooves into the end of this paddle and see how it actually cleans this grill. We've got our grill running at 700 degrees right now and we're gonna set the grooves in this wood scraper. Now the high heat is gonna burn grooves into the scraper end and this scraper is gonna become a perfect match for this grill. By burning the grooves into the end that match the grill grate, there's just not another tool that will fit into the crevices as well as this because, let's be honest, it's going to perfectly match the grooves for this grill. So all you do is you simply slide the scraper back and forth across the hot grate. And, and you do it slowly so you let the grates burn in the grooves. Well, and the key is not to end up with multiple sets of grooves or it's just not going to clean nearly as well. So we're trying to create deep enough grooves in the wood scraper so that when we use it to clean, we're not just cleaning the top of the grate, but also the sides of each bar. Now, it says in the instructions that we're not going to burn deep enough grooves the first time so that you see really, really deep grooves in your scraper. It's gonna take those first couple of times, but what I wanna show you is how deep we're able to get in this first burn. So that's it. It took us probably about, what, 10 minutes to go ahead and burn grooves into the scraper. And if you look, you can see how well those grooves have burned in. I would say they're probably somewhere around maybe a quarter inch, maybe a little less. But in one session of trying to get these grooves built in, we got somewhere between an eighth inch and a quarter inch of grooves. Now, we're going to go ahead and cook some chicken for lunch here. And with that chicken lunch, we're going to go ahead and use the wood scraper to clean up and we'll see how it performs. All right, so we've already cooked lunch, the chicken thighs have already been eaten, the grill has cooled down, and now it's time to go ahead and give this a shot. Now remember, we already have the grooves that have been worked into this. Now we're gonna go ahead and line them up and see how it cleans off the residue from this cook. So we wanna make sure that we line the grooves up with what we're gonna clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it up here. If you look, you can see how that lines up. And we're gonna go ahead and just cut. the next set of grooves. And then the next set. That actually 
actually moves quite well. So as you can see, I mean, it cleaned really nicely. All right, so overall, I'm really happy with the clean that this put on the grill grate. And this is something that I hadn't used before and I really wanted to see how it worked because I had never burned in my own grooves to a paddle like this. I wanted to see how it cleaned. And I, I think the real secret sauce here is that this allows you to be able to match it perfectly to the grates that you have on the grill, allowing it to be able to get even into the nooks and crannies as you're cleaning. A question that you might be asking is, can you use a wood scraper like this on grill grates that actually have the cross hatch or the diamond marks? Uh, that's not what this is designed for. This is really designed for either round bar or square bar grates that you can be able to follow a channel all the way down to clean. Remember, I won't be using this on any other grill because these uh, marks are perfectly set for this grill. And if I used it on another grill, it would really mess up these marks. So this is really you know, paired to this one now. But I gotta say, I'm happy with the performance of this, and especially for the price, coming in at like 15 or 20 bucks, uh, it's a good deal. So this grill scraper is available on amazon.com, and we'll put a link in the description down below so you can find one of these for yourself if you'd like one. Now, you actually have an opportunity, if you wanna be able to get a 20% off code for this scraper, you can check it out in the description below. That'll get you 20% off this actual scraper that we link to in the description. So I'm David from the Barbecue Lab, and I want to say thanks so much for joining us as we go through and review the best in outdoor cooking and outdoor living. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do. We've got some great stuff coming up as we even show you more about the outdoor kitchen that we've got going on here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Right now. Welcome back to the Barbecue Lab. My name Hey Uno, can you leave it? Leave it. Good boy. Good boy, sit. Can you sit? Uno, sit. Good boy. Okay, you be quiet. You be quiet, stay. Can't fall off during cooking. There's also some Kevlar brushes that use steam to clean. I've also seen a complicated design. If you look at it, you see it's tapered on this one end to be able to get...